faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Waste of time. You see, empty balance makes the most sound. Bring someone else here. You, you want to have a proper debate. I ask you, you run away. Who is the creator? Let's debate. Who is the creator? I ask you, Paul is the father of Christianity. I'll show you. Come here. But you're on the side heckling. He is the fun. Yeah, heckling. What was the challenge that we had? Okay, no, no, no. This guy. Look, he's lying. He's lying now. I'm lying. He's lying. I'm lying. He's lying. I'm lying. You are scared to debate. But when what I'm debating, the you're on the heckling. You you're heckling. Paul invented Christianity. I, 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 I told you. We take out all of the books of Paul, but Paul and we still have Christianity Paul, as we know well, today. Christianity is not about Trinity, is it? Yeah, exactly. No. Yeah. Now you're agreeing with me. No, 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 no. no, no. I, I never said. What no. was the challenge? Listen, listen to me. What was the challenge? Listen the challenge is no, no, no. no you're, you're, you're scared. You're scared. I'm not scared. Yeah. I'm not scared. Yeah. Because I agree with you. Because you Paul, Paul, Paul is not a Trinitarian. Paul never spoke about Trinity. So why would I debate with you about something that is nonsense? You said Paul, Paul I, invented Christianity. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Ask me why. <laughs> Ask me why do you say that? And explain it. I'm challenging you. Take out all of the books of Paul and you still have Christianity. No, I said no. Okay, let's debate. That's a I said no. That is a challenge. Let's debate that. Three, three minutes now. I said no. no. Wait, 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 wait. You take all the. Listen to that. No, wait, wait. You take all the books of. Call them Christians. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Why? Why in the Bible? Why? Why? You got a waste of time, man. Why in the Bible? You don't even know. So why did Paul you don't even know, man. Oh my Acts, listen, listen. Acts 11, 26. And you say, and you say, you don't know. Why? Why in the Bible? You don't even know. Don't mock, you are parroting. Mm. Right, yeah. Acts, Acts 11, 26. Read it. Acts 11, 26. You have the Bible right in front of you. I know it's in, in my head. So, so say it then. Acts 11, 26. Read it. Say it. You don't, know don't, it in your head. Don't run away. Come here. I like to, I to expose the hecklers. Yeah, don't run. Yeah. Yeah, okay, come. Open it up. I got in my head. Let me read it. And the disciples were called, okay. and the disciples were called Christians first oh, in Antioch. And the disciples, he so, said the word Christians was not in the Bible. Did he not just say that? No, I said the word Christianity. Oh, but it, I know it, the Bible. It's Christians, though. That's what you're talking about. You don't even know you're what talking about religion. What does the Bible? What does oh the Bible, Bible say? Read it. Let me see. You, you have the Bible right in front. Of you keep telling me to read it. Open it up and read it. No, in my head. Let me read it. Shame. Let me read it. Shame. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're coming. Tell me. Tell me. This is how you guys like switch it up. And, well, yeah. and no, I, I think. I think. I, I think. I opened it up several no, no. times. But clearly, no, no. when I read him the Bible, he doesn't understand no, anything. Read it. No, no, wait, wait. No. Look. I don't understand it. Every time I read them the Bible, they don't understand what did you what read? I read. read it. You don't, you don't know anything about the Bible. I read you the Bible. You don't even know. You, to show you, you are quoting. In the Bible. Where <laughs> no, no, yeah. Says it's where you not. Come on, come right? on. You said, show you in the Bible where Jesus says he's God. I, I become a Christian that. if you show me. You can't show me. I already did. Three times already. Where? I'll show you Lord, again. No, Lord. I'll no, I'm going. No, come, come here. You're a waste I'll of time. Come again. Come and debate. I'll show you again. No, you're waste. This guy needs to debate. You're a waste of time. I'll show you again. No, come here. Let me use your Bible. I'll show you again. No, we're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. Come. Because I already showed you three times already. That's why. Okay, okay. I showed you that Jesus said he's the Alpha. You're a waste of time. You're a waste of time. I already showed you. I'll show you again. I'll open it up for you again. Here we go. I'll read it to you again. I want a proper debate. Obviously, you have an ear you cannot hear. It says right here, Jesus says, take a, I'll learn the bit. Take yeah, a year yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Take a year out. I'm going to stop. Take a year out. I'm studying your Bible. Revelation, that's what I was reading. Wait, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 No, he's a waste of time. Let's, let's go. No, he's no, he's a, I know that he's a waste of time. I don't want people here. Yo, yo, yo. You need some milk. Go and study about. Okay, yeah. Go and study the Bible. You come here half no. I already roasted yeah. you. Even one percent of what you don't know. I already showed you oh, where, oh, oh, where okay, Jesus right. says he's the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. got roasted. Okay, yeah. Once again, by okay. me this time. Okay, let, I've, can you have a moderator? Give this now. guy some milk. Three minutes each. Okay, okay, you're right. Let's debate. Okay. I want right, someone. Here's another crazy one. Come here. Why yeah, you? There's another crazy one. Yeah. You're crazy. Yo, you're the one that talked to me last time. I got a video. Yeah, this man. Uncle, he's got a problem. Uncle, he's got a problem, man. That is the thing. Yabby, 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 can't prove nothing. Huh? It can't be a hard big yeah, knowledge. Uncle, uh, yeah, uncle you know Libby, Uncle. Uncle, uncle Libby. Trying to hit you okay. last time I was trying to do yeah. Here yeah, man. You don't remember. Yeah. You don't remember. Yeah. So I'm reading from uncle, the book of Revelation. Okay. So, yeah. Three minutes each. You remember what he said? Without the episodes of Paul, you still have Christianity. Yeah? Let's debate. Yeah. Muhammad. Muhammad. Tommy, let me say. Let's go. Okay. Don't call from Paul. Yeah. Go. So we're not quoting from Paul, according to his the challenges. Without Paul, we still have Christianity as we know today. 
So let me quote from, let me start with the book of Revelations. But before I come there, let me give you a bit of history. So Christians were first called Christians, as Alamin will agree with this. Uh, first Christians were first called as Christians in Antioch as a derogatory term. They call them Christians. Uh, the the pagans call them Christians because they were following a dead man. And as a uh, as a way of ridiculing the, these people, they call them followers of Christ. You know, followers of a dead man. But that's that's what we are because we are Christians because we follow Christ. Because Jesus told us to take up your cross, and Jesus, in His own words, in the Gospels, tell us to take us take up His own take up our own cross and follow Him. Therefore, if we follow Him, we are Christians, and therefore we. Have have Christianity as we know even without appealing to Paul so now the question comes down to whether Jesus is God or not and I would like to come continue with the same topic Jesus says I am the Alpha and the Omega I am the beginning and the end I am the first and the last if once is not enough Jesus repeats it three times saying the same thing in three different versions not in one place but in multiple places in the revelation book of revelations jesus says i am the alpha and the omega i am the beginning and the end i am the alpha and the omega i am the beginning and the end i am the first and the last i would like to know which prophet of god has ever said that i am the alpha and the omega which prophet of god can ever have the guts to say that i am the first and the last the beginning and the end which right. prophet of god has ever said that right. in history right. if he's a prophet of god okay now that's not all how do i know what jesus said he meant is because in the book of matthew alone in the book of matthew alone again i'm not appealing to paul jesus accepted worship on more than 10 occasions not once not twice on more than 10 occasions people came to jesus <coughs> and worshiped him who alone can be worshiped who alone can be worshiped other than god will any prophet of god allow you to worship by contrast by contrast your disciples when people bow down to the disciples what did they say they said stand up i am not a god Jesus' disciples said, stand up, I'm not a God, but Jesus accepted worship. So I, I, on just these two things I can conclude, but there are other verses that I can say. But <laughs> Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus accepted worship. Now, Lamin, I'm asking you, respond to that. Yes. So, Alhamdulillah, Alameen. So, what is happening now? I've got a heckler. We've debated twice on this topic. So what is happening here? You see? No, no, let me let me finish. Please. Can we be come on, come on. Don't okay. Wait, wait. Let me talk. 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 You see? From the beginning. I didn't speak about you. Let me talk. 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 He. No, because if you're going to do this. But you're heckling. That's why. I, I was not heckling. Okay, okay. I was not heckling. Okay, let me go. No, no, I, want you, I don't want you to run away. Go, guess it. Okay. Sam, okay, okay. Sam was okay, talking okay, on, okay, okay, when I'm Sam sorry. was talking on your side, that is okay. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. You can call me a heckler. Okay, no, okay. I, I don't like that. Okay, okay. Because that's double standard. Okay, I, okay. I don't want you to I don't yeah. want you to run away. No, that's I, I, not insult. Okay. That's okay. not insult. So what is happening now? You see, he's going to the oneness of God. I've debated him twice. He said without the epistles of Paul, that is Christianity. Now he's going to oneness. Let me tell you. You see, you New Testament has 26 books from the book of Romans. 26. Look, I said your book, the New Testament has 27 books. Prove me wrong now. I said 27. I said 27. I said 20. Look, I've, I've got to, okay, man. 27 books. Huh? From the book of Romans to the book of Philemon, book of Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. Uh, Galatians, uh, uh, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, First Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus, Philemon, and we give a book of Hebrew to Paul, 14 books. And when he have a crucifixion, that Jesus is the Savior, it's Paul. You take Paul's epistle from your from the Bible, you're finished. No Christianity. Let's go what Paul said. That's what I said. That's why this book here telling you Paul is the founder of Christianity. You see. When you ask Christians, how do you attain salvation? It's very important. Everything about salvation. You want to know when you die, where you're going to go? They will go to Paul. In the book of Romans, chapter number 10, verse number 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 
Who is that? Paul said that. Lord Jesus. Without the epistle of Paul, of Paul there's no Christianity. You read the Bible. Paul says in the first Corinthians, chapter number 15, chapter number 15, Matthew, verse number 14. Now, let, me, let me finish one. First Corinthians, chapter 15, verse number 14. If Christ has a reason, if Christ has a reason, your preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. Who said that Paul? That is why we say you are following Paul, not Jesus. Paul for us says in First Corinthians again, chapter number 17. No, chapter number 15, verse number 17. That if Christ has risen, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins and you believe in it. So without the without the epistles of Paul, there is no Christianity. You read the Bible again. It is Paul who says in Galatians. It is Paul who says in Galatians chapter number two. Yeah, time. Listen, I want you to prove to me without Paul. I said without you said without the epistles of Paul, you have Christianity. I said no. Prove to me. You are going to the oneness of God. We, we've already debated about that. You and you had a two debate about the oneness of God. Prove to me without the, without episodes of Paul that is Christianity because everything is revol revolved around crucifixion and resurrection. Go. Go. Did anybody hear Laman addressing the points that I raised? No. Nope. Did anybody hear it? No. Nope. I thought I was just talking. I clearly and talking and talking said and that followers of Christ are Christians, yeah. and the Bible calls us. To, uh, at least Jesus tells us in the gospel to follow him. That is why we are called Christians. And when we follow Jesus, you're, you're saying that I'm appealing to the oneness of God. I am saying that Jesus himself is God. So therefore, I'm a Christian without even appealing to the books of Paul. I don't need any of the books of Paul to say that Jesus is God. Why? Because I, I went to the book of Revelation. I took only two verses, Laman. But if you want, I can give you at least ten more. I'm just come on, now Let me go back to those same two verses. If you are having doubts, then we'll go to the others. Now, again, let me go back to the book of Revelations. And Jesus says, well, I am the first in the last. Yeah. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. Let's go to the book of Matthew where Jesus accepts worship. Now tell me which prophet of God and challenging you, Laman, I will take my Shahada now. If any prophet of God accepted worship, if any prophet of God said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, if any prophet of God says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, if any prophet of God says, I am the way, or if any prophet of God says, I, I, I am the first and the last. I'm challenging you, Laman. I will take my Shahada now. Please tell me. Now, if it is not God who said it, who is it who said it? And if we are acknowledging that Jesus is God and we follow Jesus, that is what makes us Christians because we follow Jesus. Thank you. Exactly. Are you finished? He didn't hear a word you said. Are you finished? He who has the ear no, 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 I've already, I've already discussed with you. Please, we're debating. Everybody, okay, you're right. You're, 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 we're debating. You, look. Can you see the guy? Is it disingenuous? Look. Okay, 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 okay. Look. How do you attend salvation according to Jesus? How do you attend salvation? Without a piece of Paul. Without the Paul. How do you attend salvation? Because without Paul said, Without, what, what, come on, come on, party, 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 please, party. Uh, they are all disturbing. Yo, hey, so, hey, look, okay, without the crucifixion and resurrection, how do you attain salvation? Tell me, who the false epistles? Repeat the question. Without the epistles of Paul, Paul is the one who came with the crucifixion and resurrection. But because of sin, because of sin of Adam and Eve. Ah, huh? book of Romans. In the book of Romans, chapter number twelve. No, book of Romans, chapter number five, verse number twelve. Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, Adam. and death was sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Right. And Paul Fuller said in Romans 5.19, So as by one man's dis disobedience, many were made sinners. So according to Paul, it's because of sin of Adam and Eve, sin entered into the world. And because of that, God sent Jesus in the world to die on the cross for our sins. So, you know the scripture. so if you don't believe in that, you are doomed. Yes. Yes. But he said without Paul, there is Christianity. You know, ask him. Do you not understand? No, 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 no,
Because without crucifixion or resurrection, according to Paul, you are doomed. Now, according to Jesus, how do you attain salvation? Tell me. Who are Paul? Tell me. I want to know. You ask any Christian, he will tell you. Yeah. The only way you will be saved is to believe in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And where do you find it? In the epistles of Paul. Not Jesus. Now, according to Jesus, how do you attain salvation? Tell me. See this. You can wrap up. You see, the glow. I want you to know because you're wasting my time. You are, you are going, you challenge me without the epistles of Paul. You have Christianity. When Christianity is revolved, no, go, show me. Go now, wait him. Going to the oneness of God. Oneness okay. of God. That's, so, my, that's, my, that's my feeling. To, go, go. Can I, can I go, I'll give you a forfeit my time. Go. Okay. So, Matthew chapter 26, verse number 28. Yes. Let me read it for you. So, this is my blood. This is who's talking? Yeah. Jesus talking, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. But this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. For the remission of sins. Who's talking? Jesus. Listen. Without the shedding of blood. Listen. Listen. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, wait, 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 without the wait, of wait, blood, wait, 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 yeah. Wait, okay. please. Please. Uh, the go book on, of go. Isaiah? No, 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 no. Go, go. go. I'll Isaiah. debunk I'll debunk it. I'm ready to debunk it. I think you need to No, I say I'll debunk it. Wait, go. Ask him to keep quiet. I'm going. I'll finish with you. Let me do uh, wait. But we're debating. Finish with me. I finish with you. Child, you'll be lying at Please waste your time. I cut them out. But it's not gonna be productive. Ask him to keep quiet. No, no, talk to him first. Talk to him. He's three minutes. I mean, uh, come on, man. We are debating. Okay. You are. Can yes. I start? Go, okay. go, go, go. So Jesus clearly says that his purpose was to shed his blood for the remission of sins. For the remission of sins for who? Not only the Jewish people, of all mankind. That is why Jesus has come down very clearly. I quoted from the Bible. Now listen. He go, go. said, I should not quote Paul. Oh, yeah. Up to now, I'm not even appealing to Paul. But whatever argument he's made, whether it is a shedding of blood for the remission of sins. Wait, wait, wait. From Matthew, we see Jesus' own words. That Jesus said that he is shedding his blood for the remission of sins of mankind. Who said it? Jesus said it. Go, go, go. Now, if you go to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 56, I, I, I can't get it now. But it says, by his, by his stripes, we have been healed. By can you just The book of Isaiah finish, finish. talks about yes, the promise of what Jesus is coming to fulfill. It is by his stripes that we have been healed, by his blood we have been cleansed. That's what the book of Isaiah says. Again, no appeal to Paul. But what you said, you said without blood there's no remission of sins. Was Paul's invention? No, it is not. It, I'm taking. I'm it, showing it to you. I am I'll, I'll tell you why. Paul. Outside of the Bible. Okay, now, address. You didn't address the first two verses. What, what? Hold on, Laman. It's my turn. You didn't address Alpha and Omega. You didn't address Jesus accepting worship. You now. Now I'm asking you address look, this, look, which look, I'm giving listen, to you now. That look. Jesus shed. Sorry, okay. it's Laman. It's my turn. Yeah, okay, go, go. Please, it's my turn. Go, go. Uh, now address this. I'll address. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. look I'm going to address every point you made. You know, it was not the one that's God. Uh, Laman, I said all of it. It's my turn. It's my turn. Ask me. Go on, go on. Laman, it's my turn. Go on, wait. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, but we have esteemed him sick, stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Who is saying this? He was wounded by our transgressions. Time is up. Isaiah is saying this. Time is up. Uh, just give me a few seconds more. I will not take two minutes more like he okay. did. No, no, no. Is saying I this? Two minutes. Isaiah is saying this 800 <laughs> years before Jesus. He gives a prophecy of the remission of sins no, no, the no, blood no. of Jesus. Right. Jesus no. comes in, confirms it in Matthew no, no, 26 no, no. when right. he says, This is my blood which is shed for the remission of sins. Now, Laman didn't agree, didn't, didn't address what I said last time. I'm asking Laman, wait, 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 w
Look, you we're debating. Okay, okay. okay. So, no, we debate you. So, by the way, got that. Look, look. I'm going to address his points here. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, look. You're going to. I'm, 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 oh, okay. You okay. Carry, you carry. Okay. Yeah, we're going to disturb you on the side. Uh, disturbing. Yo, look, move that. Look, look. I said, I still stand my ground. That without the epistles of Paul, there is no Christianity. It's simple. In fact. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go. Finish. I'm, I'm gonna no. If they're gonna, I'm going. No, no, I'm going. I'm going. No. If, if they're on the side, they're heckling. I'm like, you are talking. You didn't heckle. I mean, I mean, hey, can you see, bro, bro? You guys are disgraceful. I'm gonna go. That's it. The debate is finished. Okay, continue. Now, stop, stop. I can't believe it. I'm debating. The Muslims are here. Are not heckling. These two are there heckling. You won't let me talk. Continue. Huh? Look. As I said, the New Testament has 27 books. Paul wrote half of it. When you hear about crucifixion or resurrection, it's Paul. You understand? And when you look at Paul's writings, were the first Christian writings. Paul was the one who penned his epistles before Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm sure you agree with me. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So, crucifixion or resurrection. Oh, yeah. That the only way you're going to be saved is through Jesus Christ is all from Paul. And all the older gospel, gospel writers took their ideas from Paul's epistles. Paul said in the book of uh, in Galatians, chapter number 2, verse number 16, he said, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by, by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Paul for us. It is a Paul. That's why, that's why the Christians of today are not following the law. When I ask them, the, the, I'm talking, man, shut up. This guy, he can't shut up, man. That is why the Christians today, when he asks them, they say, they will tell you they live in a new covenant. The grace. Uh, they don't follow the law. Why? They got it from Paul, not Jesus. That is why I'm, 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 Paul, I'm talking. That's why I call the Polish Christianity. Paul said, uh, the everything's from Paul. Paul said in uh, in the book of Romans, chapter number 10, verse number 4, that Christ is the end of the law. So that there may be righteousness for everybody. Paul says that Paul, when you go to uh, even circumcision. Paul said they shouldn't be circumcised. So that's why we said that you are following Paul in Christianity. Paul is the one who is the inventor of Christianity. In fact, when you go to salvation, as I said, a man came to Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 to 17, he said, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? That I may go to heaven. Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? There is no good but one, which is God. Here, Jesus make a distinction between him and Almighty God. Why do you call me good? If Jesus was God, he would have said it. But why do you call me good? There is no good but one, which is God. If you want to enter life, if you want to go to heaven, obey the commandments. But they don't follow the commandments. Christians, because of Paul. So you take a piece of Paul away, you are finished, you are done with. You understand? So you also quote it. Let me go. You quote it. Let me let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. So he quoted a uh, book of Revelation because he said I have addressed his point. He said he said, "Tan tan go go." Okay. So Laman again, go. the the points that are raised were never addressed. Laman initially said that Paul invented Christianity. I showed him Christianity does not require uh, require Paul at all for being called a Christian. Number one, the second one, acknowledging Jesus as God, following Jesus. We do not require the book of Paul for uh, any of the books of Paul for saying these things. Then after that, the next point that Paul, uh, that he raised again about Paul, he raised two points here. One was that he says Jesus alone. In, in Jesus alone we have salvation, right? That's one of the points that you raised. I did, I did, now let me. I, I did, what did I raise? What did I say? Oh, you, you said that. Uh, no, no, no the, the Bible. I quote the Bible. It is only through Jesus that we are saved. No, no, no. I quote. I didn't say that. I quote the Bible. Have you studied the Bible? Matthew 19, 16 to 17. Can I repeat it? I didn't say that. You know, you're talking about Paul. But no, no, you're talking, no. You're talking about Paul but what and Paul instituting Christianity. You said that Paul you, you, said, Paul said, Jesus is the only way. Right? That's what you said. 
Didn't you say that? What, 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 what did I quote here? Are you listening? What verse? I know the verse you quote. Wait, wait, because I don't about know which verse you quote. I'm okay, you're not listening. You quoted Alpha and Omega. You quoted other verses where you oh, said Jesus hold God. Hold on, hold on. I can remember them. Now I'm talking, you're not remembering. So now you're what saying, did I say? So you now, are lying on me now. What did I say? Now you're saying what did I quote? Jesus, Paul said that Jesus is the only way. That's uh, what he said. Uh, uh, what, did, what, what verse did I quote? I, I'm not, I, I don't remember because you I said when you hear about so crucifixion much. or resurrection, it's Jesus Christ. I quoted Romans 10 at 9. Yes. When Paul said, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Crucif yeah. When you hear about okay. crucifixion and okay. okay. resurrection. No, 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 no. No, it's, it's my turn. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Can you restart? Yeah. So it's my turn. Right? But, but so you if you confess with your mouth yeah, that Jesus is Lord, then you will be saved. Right? And believe with all your heart, you will be saved. No, That's no. what Paul said. He didn't finish it. Okay. Finish the verse. No. Uh, I, know, I know the verse. No, no. You, 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 no, no, no. Let no, me show you no. outside. No, I don't need that verse. No, call me on the verse. I don't but you didn't it because no, it. it is through the but word. But all of it first. No. But he didn't quote it. No, no. No, call the whole verse. Please. But call the whole verse. Now when it is my turn to speak. My turn to speak. Go. I am not going to appeal to Paul. Therefore, I am not going to take that verse. But let me show you go, go. that the thief on the cross. Okay, go. He was saved because Jesus said, Today you will be with me in paradise. How did that thief enter the enter paradise? It is only because he believed in Jesus. Because he acknowledged Jesus as a sinless man. Man, he believed Jesus, therefore he entered paradise because of Jesus. Therefore I can say that the only way to God or the only way to salvation is through Jesus, through the word of God. Very clearly. Now Paul says, he talks about circumcision, he talks about Christians not keeping the law. Let me tell you very clearly that Jesus came to institute a new covenant. Jesus came to institute a new covenant. Brother, you'll have to give me more time because he's spoken between. No, you, you spoke in between. Came, go, go, go. I, I didn't have any time. Go, go, go. Jesus came to institute a new covenant. Covenant. What is the meaning of covenant, Laman, if I should ask you? Well, let me tell him. Let me give him an education. The new covenant means he, God gives us his promise and in turn he tells us to keep some laws. So Jesus came to institute a new covenant which again was prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Jesus fulfilled it saying that I bring in the new covenant which means a new teaching, a new law. We do not follow the old law. We don't need to follow it because Jesus brought a new covenant. Lament, if you do not know Christianity, please don't debunk our religion like this. You need to know something to debunk our religion. You can't talk some nonsense and say that you know we have to follow the law now regarding circumcision very interesting i let me challenge ramen and ask him why are muslims circumcised why are muslims circumcised because it was only given to the children of the of abraham why are muslims circumcised if they're not the children of abraham and why should i become circumcised when i'm not the child of abraham that law was not for me it was only for the children of Abraham, not for you, not for me. I'm sorry, Laman. Muslims are clueless as to why they have circumcision. Muhammad himself was not circumcised, and you are circumcised. So I, I beg to differ. Muhammad himself didn't follow the law that you want to follow. You know, listen to me. He doesn't even know the covenant of circumcision. You see, how I, I wish you people would take your time and read your Bible. He, circumcision. Let's talk about that. After Paul, you are following Paul. You see, he's not circumcised because of Paul. Because Paul is the one who abolished the law of Moses. Let me finish it. It's my turn. That is why he was badly beaten by the Jews for his anti Torah teachings. I'll come to that. Now, let's go to circumcision. Now, said, that's why I said, you are following Paul. Now, let's go to the Old Testament and see what God said about the everlasting covenant and we'll come to the new testament if you read the bible it is mentioned in the book of genesis chapter number 17 verses number 10 to 12. it says 10 says god said this is this is my covenant with you this is my covenant with you the covenant, your the covenant, this is my covenant with you, and your descendants after you. The covenant you are to keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. Verse number 11. You shall undergo circumcision. And it will be the sign of the covenant between me and you. Finally, verse number 12 says that for the generations to come, 
every male among you who is eight days old shall be circumcised. Everlasting covenant. You see, that is why the Jews today, the Jews today, when you ask them, they're all circumcised. And in Quran, we, the Muslims, it's a sunnah to be circumcised. Now, let's go to the uh, New Testament now. I see a circumcision is there. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 7, verse number 22. He said, Moses gave you the covenant of circumcision in the book of Acts, chapter number uh, 7, verse number 8. He said, Abraham, God gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision. And Abraham, and so Abraham became the father of Isaac and circumcised him on the eighth day. And Isaac became the father of Jacob and the Jacob of the 12 patriarchs. Furthermore, in the Bible, it's, it's, not, it's not here. Furthermore, you know, one minute. Furthermore, in the Bible, it is mentioned. Can, can you show it's, it's, no, it's coming, it's coming. It's, it, yeah. Even Jesus was circumcised. This is mentioned in the book, in the Gospel of Luke, Gospel of Luke, chapter number two. Verse number 21 is that at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Even Jesus was circumcised. And I'll, I'll go to the Paul. Paul said, Circumcision is of the heart. That is why they are not circumcised. I'm going to quote that verse because it's his time now to show you that he, the, the reason why he's not circumcised is because of Paul. Now, there, you see now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right. she was clearly now talking on the on the on circumcision. Again, let me go back to the the, the verse that he quoted. Okay, from Genesis 17, he read to you from from verse 8, right? I did, I did. Uh, sorry, you read from verse 11. However, verse, Laman from verse 10. as usual, verse 10, verse 10. Uh, he read from verse 10. Read. Laman as usual quotes the verse out of context. What is the context? Go back two verses. Go back to, to verse 8. Okay, and I'm going to read to you verse 8. This is what God is saying. Now remember what we said. A covenant is what? God gives a promise and he says, you have to keep these laws. So now let's go to the promise. And then you will understand why circumcision for Muslims doesn't make sense. Okay, and for Christians doesn't make sense. Okay, now I'll read for you verse number 8. I will give you another Lord God Almighty, the true God, the Creator, is speaking, not Allah, the Muslim God. I will give you the whole land of Canaan, the land where you are now residing to you and to your descendants. God is telling Abraham, I will give this land to you and your descendants as a possession and I will be your God. Then God said to Abraham, as for you, you must keep my, my covenant requirement. I'm imposing on you and your generations throughout. And then he gives them circumcision. So what was the circumcision <laughs> for? I will give you the land of Israel. You will be circumcised for all eternity. That is for all of your generations, Abraham, you and your descendants. If you want the nation of Israel, you shall be circumcised. Why are you circumcised, Laman? Why wasn't Muhammad circumcised? Why are you circumcised? Can you give me an answer from the Quran? Now again, please notice, I never appeal to any of the books of Paul because I don't need Paul to show me this. I don't need it because who was it speaking to? Clearly the Lord was saying to Abraham, it is a one-on-one -on -one conversation, Abraham, I will give you and your descendants this land for all your generations, but your generations need to be circumcised. My question to you, Laman, and I challenge you, tell me from the Quran, why are you circumcised? And tell me from the Quran, why Muhammad was not circumcised? Yes. Done. I'm okay. You see, you see, you see, the man is failing miserably. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking now. You see, I don't, I don't think he knows what Paul says about circumcision. We are talking about Paul. No, no, I'm talking, 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 I'm talking. No, no, I'm talking. I know, I'm talking about. I said Paul is the part of Christianity. That's why I said I said you are not circumcised because of, I'm talking because uh, uh, no, I'm talking. You see, what can, you see, it's only the Christians that heckle. You see. Yeah, 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 no, no, no time. I'll stop. I'll stop. Stop my time. Stop my time. Stop my time. Stop my time. I'm okay. going to debate you with you. So let me hear. So you see, I said you are following. The Paul is the one who who can abolish the law, and he agreed with me. I don't know where. Do you know what Paul said about circumcision? That's why you're not circumcised. No, Jesus. 
because Jesus, why is that Jesus was circumcised? You are not. And you say you are following Jesus. Paul is the one who said in the book of Romans, it's allowed to quote, they cannot quote. In the book of Romans, chapter number two, verse number 29, it said, He is a Jew, Romans 2 29. He is a Jew which is one inwardly. He is a Jew which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter. Every Christian will agree with me. Ask them why not circumcised. They go to Paul. For them, Paul, who said in Galatians chapter number five, verse number two, Galatians five two, he said, he said, I Paul, I Paul say to you, if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Why did Christ say in the Bible when Jesus said he didn't come to abolish the law? Matthew, Matthew uh, 5. But Paul said, declare 17 to 19 that he did not come to abolish the law but to fulfill them. Paul says, Brother, you are following Paul. You are, you are ashamed to admit it. Without a piece of Paul, you are finished. You are finished. You talk. Show me in the Bible why Jesus said that if you let yourself be circumcised, you are finished. Then you are not my follower. Paul, Paul says it. I, Paul, say to you that if you let yourself be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Is Paul you are following? No, Jesus. Jesus was circumcised. Circumcision is an everlasting covenant. We, Abraham, is the father, is the father of religion. You are not agree with that. We are following his examples. We, the Muslim, is in Sunnah for every male to be circumcised. Every Jew, the same thing. You are not. Why? Because you are following Paul. Show me the verse why Jesus said anything about abolishing the law or oh, you should be circumcised. That is why you are saying that this man here is the founder of Christianity. 27 books he wrote. 13 books of the New Testament is attributed to Paul. So you are feeling miserable now. Oh God, you can't. Yeah. There you go. Again, I'm asking, like I asked before, did anybody <laughs> here now, man, addressing any of the points that I raised? What, what point? Did anybody? What point? The points that I raised is why? Show me according to the Quran, why should a Muslim be circumcised? No. No, it was not because he does not know. He no. has to come to Abraham, and if you look at Abraham and the context which he missed out, willfully he has not either. He, I do not know whether he willfully did it or he is not aware of it. The covenant is a promise and a law. So God gives you a promise, and you have to keep a law. The, the promise was that the land of Canaan will be given to Abraham and his descendants. That land is not for me. I don't have to keep that uh, to, to keep circumcision because God said, I will give you this land. However, keep your you and your descendants have to be circumcised. Is that clear to everyone? I'm, I'm very clear. And the Bible is very clear. Please read it for yourselves. The Bible is clear. I do not have to. Uh, I, that land doesn't belong to me. I don't have to be circumcised. I'm asking you, Laman, again, according to the Quran, why do you have to be circumcised? And again, I'm saying, according to the Quran or the Hadith, why wasn't Muhammad circumcised? Muhammad was not circumcised because he's one like us. The land of Israel doesn't belong to him. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the ones of the circumcision. But you do not know why you're being circumcised. You're blindly doing it. And you're telling me that even I have to do it. And you're blaming Paul. Paul has nothing to do with this. This is in the book of Genesis. Sorry, it's my turn. This is in the book of Genesis that God says it is for Abraham and his descendants for the people who inherit the land. I'm sorry, that doesn't apply to me. I'm not a descendant of Abraham. Neither do I want the land of Israel. I'm happy where I am. Okay, now you addressed another point. Very quickly you went to another point and you said, show me where Jesus abolished the law. No, I cannot show that to you, but I can show you where Jesus instituted a new covenant. Again, you are, Muslims are not aware of this covenant relationship. We have an old covenant 
and we have a new covenant. We have old covenant where, which was given by Moses to the children of Israel. We don't come under the old covenant. We come under the new covenant which is listed in the New Testament because Jesus instituted this new covenant by his blood. And therefore, we do not come under the law. I don't need Paul to tell me that because the old covenant is fulfilled and done with. I come under the new covenant which is instituted by Jesus. Now, Jesus, he says, Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, teaching them to do all things that I commanded you. What, what? According to the new covenant. What? Right? So therefore, Raman, I'm sorry to tell you Get that up. without Paul, I still have my Christianity. You, you are debunked because there's no after there's not even no teaching that you showed me that I can justify from another book. Thank you. No, 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 no. The man, the man. You see, he just uh, he does so. No, no, I'm talking. I'm not talking. Okay. I'm talking now. He doesn't want to admit that he's Paul and Paul. Now he's quoting the Great Commission. He doesn't even know where he's quoting from. Jesus was not sent to. I, I no, let me tell you. I get the reference. No, 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 you know, Great Commission quote from Jesus said, "Go and go and make disciples of all nations." Uh, he didn't quote it. I'll put it in the context to you because yeah. you haven't studied your Bible. Yeah. Wait, Jesus uh, was sent to the Jews. He was not a Christian. He wasn't sent to you, and he made it emphatic in Jesus. Let's say Jesus came to die. Let's say we Muslims, Quran said, Omar Katalu, Omar Katalu, they kill him, no crucifixion, he did not die. Let's say he came to die, die. He would have come to die for the sins of the Jews, not you. You are no, you're not a Jew. Jesus himself made it clear in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 15, verse number 24. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And in Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 to 7, he instructed his disciples not to go to the Gentiles. He said, go and preach to the children of Israel. Go nowhere to among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. There is nowhere in the Bible here where Jesus said he was sent to the Gentiles. Now he quoted a verse here, he doesn't know. I'm going to put in the context. I'm going to give you Bible lessons. He quoted from the called the Great Commission. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 28, verse number 19 to 20. They always said, Christians will always use this. When Muslims said, quoted uh, Matthew 15, 24, they said, no. But after he instructed disciples to go and preach to all nations, yes. Great Commission. Yes. Let's put in the context, because you don't know this verse. This, this verse said, they said, therefore, Matthew 28 19. Therefore, go and make disciples. Of, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I'm asking you if that is the case. If Jesus did indeed instruct his disciples to go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, why did they not do so? In the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 37. In the book of Acts, chapter number 8, verse number 16. In the book of Acts, chapter number 10, verse number 48. In the book of Acts, chapter number 19, verse number 5. Instead, they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Did they forget? I'm asking why. Because if you read, let me let me quote them. Give you one, one, one minute. Let me quote them. I, I quote them. Acts 2, 37. Wait, Acts 2, 37. Abanta. No, I'm going to quote this because I want to put this great commission into context. Yeah, because the disciple uh, did not follow the commands of Jesus Christ. Baptized all nations in the name of the Father and of the Word and the Holy Ghost. What would they do instead? They baptized only in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? I'm going to go and quote these verses now. Go. Give your Bible lessons. Go. Yeah, okay. Go. Yeah. So, Laman and Sir, again, we went off topic this time. Because we, went, <laughs> we went completely off topic. We had, the topic was... You went there. You quoted it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go, go. You quoted it. Go. Do which one were, did you say? Acts 2? Uh, yeah, okay. So, what I'm saying... Acts 2, 37. Bible, let's go. Acts 2? 37. Yeah. Why did they not baptize? Great Commission. And some scholars said it's a fabrication. No. 
Please pause. Yeah. Finish. All, I finished. All, all of them. I caught the four, four, four verses. Yeah. Okay, go. Okay, start. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Naaman again went off topic. We were talking about Paul and think... Paul instituted Christianity again. He's yet to give me some uh, teaching. Naaman, please don't disturb. I didn't. I was quiet. Naaman, please do the same. Uh, he's yet to give me some teaching which Paul gave, which is not in the Bible, which is not in the other books. And everything that he gave me, I was able to show him. Whether it be circumcision, whether it be the deity of Christ, whether it be Jesus being worshipped, whatever it is. It is in the other books as well. I don't need Paul for Christianity. Paul just gave some more instructions, made things more clear, put things into context, and gave the Old Testament context behind it. That's all Paul did. But Paul didn't invent Christianity. There was nothing new. Now, let me come to this Great Commission again. Now, listen again. We've gone off topic. But because Laman went there, I'm going there. The Great Commission. He said Jesus was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Yes, he was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Yes, Jesus went only to the Jews preaching because that was his commission. But after he finished, and let me also say this, Jesus didn't only go to the Jews, he did go to a Samaritan woman, the very second person that he spoke to when he started his ministry, according to the book of John, is a Samaritan woman. He spoke to the entire village, in fact, not just a woman, he spoke to the entire village. But that doesn't dispute the fact that he was only sent to the Jews. <laughs> and when he finished his work on earth, that's when he commissioned his disciples. Before that, he made another point, very important point. He sent his disciples out. He sent his disciples only to the children of Israel. He told them not to go to anywhere else. Why? Because Jesus is coming only to the lost sheep of Israel. He sent his disciples before him to make the announcement that Jesus is coming. That's what people do when a king is coming. They would go in the Old Testament. They would go ahead of the king and announce his coming and announce the presence, his presence and the purpose of his visit. And that's what they did. At the end of his ministry, before Jesus can depart, Jesus said that he told the disciples very clearly, go into all nations, not to the lost sheep of Israel, go into all nations, baptizing the people in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. One important instruction which he missed out, which he usually does, telling them to obey all the commandments yeah. that I yeah. taught you, that I gave you. In other words, new covenant. Lamin, address that. Yeah, I, I didn't have time for this. He said the man is, is feeling miserably. Okay, you can see. You can see you are running away. You're going, yeah. Look, first of all, first of all, first of all, what's the topic? For, no, no, you're, you're, you're talking now, you're talking now. But my, my, yeah. you spoke no, as no, well, okay, right? yeah. No, I'm talking, I'm talking now. You, you see, spoke as well. you not okay, okay, stop it, stop it. You asked me and I, I stopped. No, no, you, you, what is the topic? Obey. Yeah, you can stop. No, 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 don't, 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 don't digress. I'm happy no, no, to go let, let me, topic. let me talk. I'm happy to go off. No, let me talk. I admit. No, I can't, can't God believe it. He's scared now. He's scared. Now I'll come to that. I am happy no, to wait, talk wait. off topic. Wait, wait, yeah. I'm happy to talk off topic. Look, but then Let, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Look, are you, are, you are you scared? Are you scared? Admit you're wrong. Are you scared? Admit you're wrong. We'll go off topic. No, no, no. You're, he's admit scared. You're he's wrong. scared. I want to call the boss. The great commission. Admit you're wrong. He's scared now. Admit you're wrong. Uh, no, it's my turn. I will go off topic. It's my turn. Who went off topic? No pause. No, no, no. You're not. He's scared now. He's scared. Now. He's scared. Camera, He's scared now. Who went off topic? No, no, let me talk. It's my, you're, you're not, it's my turn. It's my turn. See, what's I can't believe it. Lamin? This man asked me. What is the topic? Don't talk, Lamin. Just for me to ask him what's no, the topic. Okay, okay, let me, let me. Because he's okay. going to another topic. No, let me finish. What was the topic? <laughs> He's scared now. Okay, let, let me, okay, let me finish. Okay, let me, let me, let me, okay, let me, let me, let me finish. Let me. Let, Come back to the, topic. The, the, look, I'm happy to go to. Can you listen? Listen, listen. I'm happy to go off topic. Why are you scared? Please. Are you scared? Admit. That Paul didn't no, no, you're scared. scared. You're scared. And look, look, and look, go back no, to another look, time. look, look. You came up with a great commission. Stop. Listen to me. Stop. That is Stop. why. Look, I did not digress. You said that Jesus sent his disciples to all nations, and I said I'm going to address that. That I was addressing it. I did. I didn't quote the great commission. You quoted it. So why are you lying? That I'm shifting. I'm. I'm. I'm digressing. You quoted it, and I put it into context. I didn't quote it. So stop lying. I never quoted it. You quote it, I put the context. And now, you know, you, you didn't quote it properly. You see, the first, listen to me. You go to verse number 20, where I said, go and tell them to observe everything I, I taught you. Every, anyone can read it. Matthew, this is a great commission. So I don't want to go anywhere to address this first. Matthew 28, 19. Yeah? What did he say? Read and see, read it. Read it first. Crafty. They are crafty. No, no, no. It's not your, it's not your business. 
No, it's not a business now. You know, look, the Muslims are no, no, if you want to defend it, they leave it. Yeah? So as I said, if that was if Jesus did indeed command his apostles to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost Spirit. Why is it that in the, in the book of Acts they didn't do it? Show me a single verse. Why the apostles baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy, Holy, Holy Ghost? It's not there. Instead, I said they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ only. Let me quote the verse to you. In the book of Acts, chapter number two, verse number 30, it says that Peter answered. He said, uh, He said, All of you. I said, all of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, not the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. Furthermore, Paul said, Furthermore, in the book of Acts, chapter number two, no, book of Acts, chapter number eight, verse number 16, he said that because the Holy Spirit has not come on them yet, they were simply baptized in the name of Lord Jesus, not the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Ghost. Why? For the in your Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter number 10, verse number 48, it says that he commanded that they be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Why the disciples not carry out, carry out the command, the great commission? Had they forgotten the onus on you? Why? Because it's the great commission. Go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Why? And one more in the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse number 5. He said, on hearing this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Address that. The disciples, did they forget? I I'm going to forfeit my time. Address this and we can go back to our, our original topic where I said that Paul is the founder of Christianity. Address this because you came up with this. The Great Commission. I said Jesus was sent to the Jews. Matthew 15, 24, not to you. And you say, yeah, he was in the beginning, but later on, he sent them to all nations. Matthew, you quoted Matthew, what? 28, 19. You've gone way beyond. No, no, I'll let 10 minutes, I'll give you. Put in the context. I don't need 10 minutes. No, uh, okay, go, go, go. I want to know. The disciple, great commission. Did they forget? Go. That's enough. Go. Go, go. Did you hear his previous, at the, at the three minute mark, did you hear what he said? He said, that is why I went off topic. But did you hear what he started out with? He called me a liar for saying that he went off topic. Now you know who's a liar. Please go to the speech and see, when I said he went off topic, he started his speech by calling me a liar. Remember, Lam and I told you, don't call each other names. Yes, this is not good. If you want to win a debate, if you're insecure, go, 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 go to somebody else go, go, and go. call their names. Stop, no, no, go. Don't call me go, a go. Come, come, go. You call me names here. If you want to Several times. by ridiculing people, he, by putting he, them he, down, he, he's being exposed. Not, you're dimmy. He's exposed. I, I hope I am. He's over there exposed. No, you're a liar now. <laughs> you're you call me no, a liar. Don't go. you admit it. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. No, no, no. I'm not dimmy. I'm sorry. Don't cry. Go. Don't call me. Don't call me. Apologize for saying I'm a liar. Okay. Look. What? Didn't wait, he say I was wait, a liar? Wait, wait, and then didn't he wait, say okay, that he went wait, to wait, topic? Wait, wait, wait. You're a liar now, wait, 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 And you call me a liar? What wait, audacity do you I, have? Are you exposed? You're a liar. I'm not your dimmy. I'm not a dimmy. No, don't I'm run sorry. away. I'm don't sorry. run away. This you see? Islamic, this okay, Islamic put it in the context. I'm calling people dimmy. Put, put the context. rubbish. Put your context. I'm not your dimmy. Put. Don't think I'm your dimmy and don't call me names. You, if you want to have a respectful dialogue, have a respectful dialogue. Look, okay, you, don't call me a liar. You, you, you admitted you moron. on camera. Wait, wait. You no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. You wait, on okay. camera. Let me talk. You went off topic. He's scared. Why Can you believe scared? it? Put it in the context. Don't tell me that I'm scared. He's scared. You are scared. That's why you went off topic. Again, this. now it is my three minutes. Go, 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 go. It's my three minutes. Go, go. I'm challenging no, Laman. Talk, talk. I'm challenging Laman. I'm willing to debate this. But tell me <laughs> that you were wrong for saying all invented Christianity. Tell me that you were wrong. I will change the topic. Sorry. I will change the topic. If not, we are talking on this oh, okay, topic. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm willing to. Okay, I'm willing really to go to any other topic, Laman. Okay. But first, admit you are wrong in saying Paul invented Christianity. But so far, whatever you showed me, I have showed you from the Bible and from other places that it was already in existence. I don't need Paul to. to the the, 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 the debate is going to finish. He's finished. Yep. Paul is the founder of Christianity. You can go another hour and I quote verses from the Bible, Paul, and you will never find it in the writings of Jesus. No, 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 no. Okay, let me, let me quote, let me quote. You said everything that Paul said 
you can find it in the scripture. Stop, stop, stop. Is, is it mine? Yeah. No, it's yeah, finished. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm giving it to him. No, 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 no. The great commission, he can't put into context. That's why it's manifesting uh, trepidation, manifesting consternation. He can't put into context. I'm here. I don't know where he is. You see, bye, bye, you, can't, bye, bye. You, can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, put your context. The Great Commission now, you can't, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, put your context. There, there, there. Show me a verse why the disciples baptized in the name of the Father and the Word and the, and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Show me, he can't. Did they forget? He's sweating. When he say man, a man, a vincing, a vincing trepidation, exhibiting fear, look at him, you're sweating blood, you are. You are. You are. No, 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 you are scared. Put it, no, it's your turn. No, no, go, go. I gave you a forfeit my time. Go. I quote it. Go. No, 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 come on. Put the context. I'm waiting. We are waiting. Yeah. It's your turn. Okay, Wait. Please, please stop. Okay. 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 I was very clear. Everybody on camera, what was the purpose of this debate? <laughs> what did we say that we will speak about? We see now who's sweating. Who's running? Who's running? Who wants to change the topic? Everybody, who wants to change the topic? Go, go, go. Muslim brothers, who yeah, go, go. wants to change the topic? Am I changing the topic? Why do you want to change the topic? You can change the topic. Admit you are it's wrong. you. Admit you are you wrong. You gave me a great commission. Stop. I put the context. Lame, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Have, come on, you're scared. Go. It's my turn. It's go, my turn. Go. I'm not scared. That's why I'm talking. I'm it's my turn. I will. I'm here for three hours. Go. Three hours. Go. Listen. I'm not going anywhere. Who wants to change the topic? Lamin wants to change the topic. Why does he want to change the topic? Because so far, whatever he brought has been refuted <laughs> and he has no answer for it. Lamin. Please answer according to what I've given you, Lamin. Let's refute the topic and I'll be happy to talk on another topic. Just like I challenged you earlier today, I am telling you, we will talk about Paul inventing Christianity. That's the topic. If we can stick to topic, when we'll go off topic is when you admit you were wrong. Well, why did you go off topic then? Done. Why did you call the Great Commission? Mama, look, I didn't look. Look, the cameras are here. They are not my channel. Huh? You quoted the Great Commission. I put the con you digress, not me. Is there? Check. No, okay, okay. I want it. I want the cameras. Yeah. The original oh, topic. I so we know I want, who's look, saying what is right. I want to see the. What? The new one. Put the original okay, topic. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's go about the original topic because you came up with the Great Commission. Yeah. He said Jesus instructed the disciples to go and baptize all nations. Now I try to put that into context, and you are panicking. I did not digress. Not but why are you panicking? You said I'm. I'm, I'm digressing. Who digressed? You quoted the verse. Why didn't you stick to the verse? Why did you stick st uh, stick to the topic at hand, which is about? I said Paul is the founder of Christianity. Let's discuss that. But you instead you go to Jesus as God, I found Omega. No, no, no. I found Omega. I didn't agree from the beginning. The viewers will see. He said Jesus is God. You're following Jesus. He went to Alpha and Omega, and the Alpha and Omega in uh, uh, Revelation. We quote other verses to say that Jesus is God. When the co topic at hand was. Paul, the founder of Christianity. And then he went to the Great Commission. I'm the one, you digress, not me. So I said, Paul is the founder of Christianity, and I stick with it. Yeah, 27 books of the New Testament. Paul wrote half of it. He took it away, no Christianity. When you have crucifixion, resurrection is Paul. Paul is the one who said that. If Christ has a reason, your preaching is in vain and faith in vain. Paul said that. Show me a single verse. In the Old Testament, any other prophet who said this, and I challenge you, because in book of, in John five forty six, John five forty six, Jesus said to the to, to the Jews, if you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. If you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. I'm asking you, what did Moses write about Jesus? Did Moses say anything about crucifixion, resurrection? Did Moses say anything about the new covenant? Or the lobbying uh, abolish is Paul you are following. Show me anywhere. Paul is the one who came all, all this clap trap. No, in the Old Testament. You can show me. And you said it. Anything that Paul said, you can find in the scripture. Show me where. Anywhere in the Bible. Or even Jesus said, yeah, that if you confess to your mouth, Jesus the Lord, and believe in your heart and go to raise him from the dead, you'll be saved. Because according to you, Jesus came to die for the sin of mankind. Past present and future and it, it is because of what the sin of Adam and Eve where Paul 
Told his daughter, who said? Romans 5. I repeat again. Romans 5. 12. Why for as my, why for as my one man sin entered into the world? And death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Paul is the one you are following. You know what I mean? See, uh, that's the thing. I, I mean, uh, I'm done. We're going to go now, because at the moment now, okay. I think... Why did I quote the Great Commission? I think, I think... I go, go, go. Okay, let me finish. Why did I go to the Great Commission? Because I wanted to show... Finish. That the Great Commission... Because Jesus said, teach them, do th teach them all the things that I commanded. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Great Commission. I was not referring to the first part. However, Laman got hooked in the first part of the Great Commission. No, no, no. It's more important. The, the first part is more important. I'm, saying, no, no. I'm happy to talk about <laughs> no, 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 no. when Laman admits that he was wrong. Okay, now here. Laman is talking about. <laughs> it's finished. It's finished. No, I he's he, he's going to take his shahada. Stop, stop. Shahada, go, go, go. Laman okay. again was talking about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Please, I don't need Paul to talk about he's the death the and pressure. resurrection of Jesus. He's on, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the he's on the pressure. I'm going to go here and answer this all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. The death and resurrection of Jesus. I'm tired. I'm tired. Now, yeah. The book of Psalms. Let me take the book of Psalms where it talks about David prophesying about Jesus. He says that he will not allow your holy one to see corruption. Who was he talking about? <laughs> this very clearly says finish. it was not about David, it was talking about Jesus. He will not allow Jesus finish. to see finish. corruption. Therefore, Jesus was raised. I don't need Paul to say that about uh, talk about the death and resurrection. I have the book of Psalms. I have the book of Psalms that says that he will not see corruption. He will not be in his grave. He will be resurrected. This is in the Old Testament. Therefore, Lavin, I'm sorry, but you have to change your opinion because I don't need all for any of the doctrines that you have quoted. Not even one. I challenge you, Lavin. We can continue the discussion, but I can challenge you. Tell me one teaching of Paul, one teaching of Paul, which is not anywhere in the else in the Bible. Okay, uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, challenge you hear that? Show me a teaching of Bible. A teaching of Paul, which is not. I gave you okay, well. more than one hour well. until now. There's not even one teaching that you brought me, which I did not show you is elsewhere in the Bible. And you are yet to show me why Jesus accepted worship. You are yet to show me why Jesus said he's the Alpha and the Omega. You are yet to show me why you are circumcised. You are yet to show me what the Quran says about circumcision because it's not there. You do not know why you do circumcision. I can show you from the Bible, it is not for you. It is for the children of Abraham who inherit the land of Canaan. Not for you. And I'm challenging you, Laman. And probably this could be our next debate. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. Show me from the Quran about circumcision. I take my shahada. Show me why your son says according to the Quran. I will take my shahada. Today I will take my shahada. He can't take the heat. He can't take it. Look, 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 listen. I think look. Yeah, look, look. This guy, if he is sincere, if the man is sincere, by now, you know, he would have taken Allah would have uh, gave him Hidayah. But you know he's he's not sincere. Okay, it's the problem. The, 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 the problem. the problem is, you know, Paul, we all know Paul was the disciple of Jesus Christ. Paul never met Jesus. When Jesus taught his disciples for three and a half years, he never met some Paul. Paul is an imposter from the outset. Yeah, so you, you, you challenge me to show you a verse in the Bible. Okay, 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 yeah, no. Jesus said, go and baptize all nations, according to them. I quoted Matthew 15, 24, when Jesus said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, no, no, no. Yeah, he was beginning. But in the end, after his resurrection, he now commanded the disciples to go and baptize all nations. He quoted Great Commission, which is in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 28, verse number 19, where Jesus said, therefore, go and baptize all nations. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I said to him, Show me a single verse where any of the disciples baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Instead, in the book of Acts, they baptized only in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? He started manifesting trepid anger and trepidation. 
Now you challenge me. Let me quote you a verse from Paul. The Paul is, Paul is an impostor. In the book of Philippians, Philippians 2 10. Philippians 2 10. Paul said, At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and on the earth. Show me any verse from the Bible. You challenge me. Where Jesus or disciples say anything in any way, shape, or form, or any, any of the prophets in the Old Testament that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and on the earth. Get, show me. Because you said that show, for me to show you a verse in the Bible where Paul did not reference that in the in the scripture. I'm gonna show you Paul is an apostle. Show me now. I'm waiting. I fulfill my time. Philippians 2:10. Show me. Okay. Yeah. And don't digress. You challenge me. Show me. Where did Paul got that from? Show me. Wait. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got one minute left. Is, uh, one, uh, one, minute left. one minute left. One minute left. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. Yeah, uh, Forty three seconds. Forty three seconds. You challenge me as a police and impostor. Now, Philip two ten. Show me where the Paul get that from. Go in the Old Testament. Go. Don't digress. Oh, I'm going now. Yeah. Go. You challenge me. Yeah. So Laman, Laman started off again by saying. Paul is an imposter. No, I'm sorry. If you say Paul is an imposter, you're giving me the license to say Muhammad was an imposter. There, there you go. Muhammad came. No, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. An imposter. I have every right to say Muhammad is an imposter because he came with a false gospel. He came with a false doctrine. He preached a false Jesus. Nothing of which matches the Bible. Therefore, he is the imposter. Now let me show you about Paul. He said Paul never met Jesus. I'm no, sorry, no. Lamin. Paul, I'm, I'm, please stop it. It's my turn. Don't interrupt. Okay, go. Please stop. Uh, I'll read from Acts chapter nine, verse four, and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying, "Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me?" And he said, "Who are you, Lord?" And he said, "I am Jesus, the one you're persecuting." I'm sorry, Laman. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, wait. Jesus, Paul, if you stop, stop, if, if he doesn't run away, wait, I'll expose him. Three minutes. Go. Why is he coming in? No, 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 go, go, no, no, go. Go. I'm sorry, Laman. Pause it. Pause it. Paul did make Jesus. Pause it. Yeah, I, wait. Hold this. Paul on. met Jesus. Jesus, that's it. I think it's Sorry, brother. Please allow me to yeah, I'll, I'll laminate it. You go, you go. I'll finish with you, all of you. At the better, you go. Bring so, bring Bob. Bob, Bob, I want Bob. You people are, Bob, bring Bob. Bob is scared of me. Yeah, Acts here. Acts 9, that. Go, go, go. Acts 9, again. Aki, 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 Aki. We are debating here. Ask them here. Uh, okay, the only one that he brought up which is new, he said, Show me where, because uh, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is God. That is false teaching. I already showed you in the book of Matthew. Ma I don't think you're listening, Laman. I showed you in the book of Matthew that knees bow to Jesus. Knees bow to Jesus and they confess that Jesus is God. And Jesus accepted the worship. What more do you want me to show you? You want me to show you each and every verse? I will show you at no, least okay, 10 okay. occasions. At least 10 occasions. Only in Matthew where Jesus said bow down before Jesus where knees bow down before Jesus and they confess that Jesus is God uh, that Jesus is Lord what more do you want I'm done are you done don't go yeah. And you try to say, I'm wrong. Yeah. You said, let me talk, let me talk. You let me talk. You said, Paul, two things that you said. You said, Paul never met Jesus. I showed you Paul met Jesus. That is clearly according to the Bible. Paul met Jesus. Can you listen? Can you listen to me? No. You're not listening? No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, okay, finish, finish. Don't run away. You're running away. I'm not running away. I'm giving you time. No, no, go, go. It's your time. Don't tell me wrong things, okay? Don't tell me I'm a liar. Don't tell me I'm running away. I don't need you to tell me. Running come away. on, come on, get going. Whether I'm running away or not, they don't leave you a commentary. Don't like a, you talk wrong. like a woman. No. Don't talk. What do you mean? Talk uh, yeah, come on. Woman. It's my turn. Oh, I can talk. talk. You are not allowed to talk. No, brother, please, please, please. One minute left. We are having a conversation.
conversation no, no, here. Please no, do not come in between. No, we are having a respectful no, conversation. No, 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 this one. This one. Okay, yeah. Because the cameras can see who's running away and who's not. Okay, go, 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 let me, okay, go, 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 talk then. Two things which he said, two things which he said, both refuted, all didn't meet Jesus. Lies, absolute bullshit. Okay. If I met Jesus, I, I gave you the reference, I gave you the reference. Okay, okay, I'm going. Jesus, please don't. Uh, uh. Not in a dream. Wait, wait, wait. Secondly, he met Jesus okay, and okay. became blinded oh, after seeing Jesus. Okay, wait, wait. Second, second reason. Sorry, if you want to come and debate me, I'm, okay, I'm ready to do that. But don't interrupt okay, me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Please, please. The second thing which he said, that Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess. Please, please stop it. Please stop it. I'm talking to somebody. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is God. I showed him in the in the Gospels itself where people bow down and worship Jesus. What more do you want? Why should Paul come and say that? We already know that people did it. But we know that it's a practice. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Like yeah. 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 So okay, let's go now. Now, first of all, first of all, listen to me. Paul never met Jesus. What's up with you people? Let me listen to me. I'm talking. The book of Acts, my brother, was written after Paul died. You know who wrote the book, uh, the book of Acts? It was Luke from the book of Romans to the book of Philemon. Show me a single verse why Paul speaks about this dramatic encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus. He's not there. After he died, Luke came and wrote it down. Paul, yeah, 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 yeah show me. In fact, in, 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 if you read in, in the Gospels, in, in the Acts, Paul was when Paul's apostleship was questioned, when he was in doubt, when people are questioning his apostleship, he was even saying, I'm not, I'm speaking the truth, I'm not lying. When he could have told them that, look, on the way to Damascus, I met the Lord and I spoke to him. Paul, several verses, I'll quote the verse to you, in the book of Romans, chapter number nine, verse number one. Paul said, he said, I'm speaking the truth in Christ, I'm not lying, I'm an apostle. My conscience confirms this in the Holy Spirit. Nowhere in his epistles why he speaks about this dramatic encounter with Jesus. Not there, show me. Only in Acts. Acts was written after he died. It's a concoction. Because when Jesus taught his disciples for three and a half years, he never mentioned Paul. Why didn't Jesus tell the apostles that after he left his world, a new man will come in. A new man called Saul or Paul. This man who be his 13th appointed apostle to the Gentiles. Why? Instead, you know, you know when Paul went to Damascus after his this dramatic account with Jesus, he went and prayed extensively. When he came to join the apostles, they rejected him. Why? Can I read it to you? Why did they reject him? Let me read it. Why did the apostle reject him? They said they were all afraid of him, that they didn't believe. They did not believe that he was an apostle. It was Barnabas who took him and bring to the apostle to persuade them. Why I'm asking you? You can't show me a verse from a piece of Paul where Paul said that on the road to Damascus he met Jesus. And there is a contradiction between Acts 9 and Acts 22. Acts 9 said they heard a voice. They heard a voice. You know it. 22 said they didn't hear any voice. That's not, is that a contradiction? Tell me. It's a contradiction. You want to read it? I'm sorry you read it. You know. Yeah. One is a more detailed description than one, one said the, the man that journey with him, two men, heard the voice. The other one said no, they didn't hear any voice. A contradiction. <laughs> there you go. You read it? You're not in your head. No, 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 because Acts said, we know that Paul, according to the Bible, he used to persecute the early followers of Jesus. Now, on the road to Damascus, according to Acts, Jesus spoke to him. And he went and preached extensively without having any contact 
with the apostles that shows you that the man was fake. Now, if Paul was genuine, if Jesus has, if, if it was true that Jesus spoke to him, he would have come to back to Jerusalem to contact the apostles, tell them what happened. But instead, he went and preached his own gospel extensively. You know, Paul has his own gospel. That is why in in Second Timothy chapter number two, verse number eight, he said, "Know that know that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised." from the dead according to my gospel according to my gospel Paul was preaching his own gospel there you go show me exactly he said he can encounter Jesus show me because when Jesus was on earth uh, he had 12 disciples Paul was in one of them and when when uh, they, they how they call it who betrayed Jesus when Jesus was betrayed uh, the remaining disciples had to cast uh, this thing a lot to appoint a new disciple to make it 12. Paul was in mention. They chose instead Matthias was chosen. No, Paul, go, 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 go. That's the thing. I'm gonna go because I'm tired now. You can't prove anything. Yeah, I'm on. Go, go, yeah. But again, what is the start of the debate? Now it's going now. It's not actually said. I'm going now. I'm gonna go. So I, I'm gonna finish now. That's it. You can't address anything. You can't address anything. I'm going, go, I'm going now. Finish. I'm tired. I'm going to go and pray now. Paul talks about his conversion in the book of Galatians. And again, the book, I'm not supposed to quote Paul. That is what the terms of the debate were. That we will show that this exists without Paul's book. Right? No, no, no. No Christian without Paul, no Christianity. Please allow me to yeah. go. go. I'm going now. Oh uh, no, he's gone. He's gone. He's finished. Yeah, finished now. Finish now. Oh, he's talking about Paul yeah. not it's being a boy. The minute. No, no, no. It's, it's a long day. He's actually going to pray. Jesus, who didn't meet Allah, some nameless angel, and therefore he's a fake. The bugs. The bugs. Yes. He cannot prove anything. You can see. The bugs. He finished. Go. Did I I think I got finished. That's been one hour. You are debunked. Finished. Spend one hour there. Finished. Yeah. <laughs>